Hello everybody and welcome back to my Grimsby Town career mode. And I know I have been absent a bit but my sleep pattern is absolutely messed up so uh, yeah that's why it's taken a while for me to get another episode out and we're back again with the Grimsby Town one. As you can see the team here uh, we're going with a slightly weaker lineup in the cup as we just played uh, a game not long ago. Uh, so we're going in against Millwall who are a pretty decent league one side. Uh, recently, uh, was it, I think they failed to go up last year, maybe, uh, to, to the, um, championship, but, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a difficult one, so I'm going to get into quite a few games this episode, as you will see, uh, and there they just go, the winding on through, I thought there's no way of shooting that, and McEwen doesn't save it. But, yeah, there is. There is a way, and it just goes straight under McEwen's legs to put Millwall 1-0 up. Like, I stayed back with my defender to cover the, side, uh, the other side of the goal, as you can see there. I didn't think McEwen would have been beaten like that, but unfortunately he was, and it does end full-time 1-0. Um, and pretty much I'm going to be showing you all the goals. I've got about six games to get through, and, like, the episode's going to take long enough with that. Um, so you will see. So we're out of the Chuck Trade Trophy, uh, unfortunately, because we do need to make money to be like financially secure on the new one. And I have been struggling with it. Um, spent a lot on players. I'm also also using the Youth um, Academy as well, which is uh, costing me some funds. Uh, so we do actually really need to get wins in like these cup games to get money back. But I just I'm trying to get to January because I know that um, like that is the thing that everybody watches career mode for really. Um, I do like I just love watching transfers and seeing new players come in. So we're against Ban here in the league, uh, one of the sides that was in the conference a few years back. We do get the goal here. Uh, Dominic Vose, I believe that is. I actually need to put the names over the heads. I've just reminded myself um, where the name pops up when you are on him. But yeah, Barnett, uh, one of the recently uh, promoted sides. So I was hoping to pick up three points here. And we do get off to a good start there. Dominic Vose, yeah, was with his fifth goal in the league. Uh, 79 minutes in, so it was actually pretty late in the game. And we do get out there with a 1-0 victory. So, uh, so far, 1-0 loss and a 1-0 victory. Not too bad. Uh, just wanted to get the win. That was, like, the most important thing. Getting the three points, because I do want to get promoted this season. As you can see, we're doing Omar Bogle's training. is 64 at the moment. Just trying to grind him to get him up. I want him to be maybe 67 by the time we get into League 1. Hopefully by the end of the season. So I do change up the formation here. Uh, Bogle, Chambers in the middle as I just love his pace uh, and his dribbling at players. Um, and I put quite a strong team as you can see. Probably the strongest team I've got really. And... The next three games I did in another stint because I thought I want to get through these games. So, like, the camera positions changed because I found the one that I liked. But I'll get to that when we get there. So, Stevenage, uh, away from home, uh, is our next game. I'm just hoping to pick up three points. I believe my team is strong enough to be the best in the league. As you can see there, 11 games in, 24 points. The second was with 22 points. So we've got a nice little two-point lead. So if we do maybe drop a, uh, two points by getting a draw, we'll still be joint top or top. So, yeah, and straight away we're getting off to a good start here. Nice little moving movement. And Bogle just dribbles past the defence and slots it in. Bottom right, three minutes into the Stevenage game, I thought, oh, this could be a whitewash here. I just absolutely tore them apart straight away. They just wasn't ready. A lovely bit of passing. Bogle with a nice little run gets the goal for us there to for his fifth goal in the um, in the League Two. So yeah, I don't really have a an actual goal scorer. It's all. Uh, kind of mix around and 
But there you go, McCune gets Megs again. Like, he's just getting Megs so much, I really don't get it. Um, maybe I do need another keeper. I mean, if if he's not 62 by the time we're in League 1, I'm definitely going to get a new keeper. Even though I do really like James McCune in real life. But, I mean, I can't be putting up with that in the game. So I'll probably upgrade, have James Lacoon as a backup. As you can see, it does end full-time 1-1. And I thought, yeah, I really need to do more games because it was kind of a boring uh, first three games. 1-1-0, one, one, then another 1-0, then a 1-1. One, one. Kind of not the best. So, as you can see, we are second now, 25 points in. Akronton Stanley uh, are top there. Plymouth Argyle, 21 points as well so we've got a little cushion uh, so here is the new like me starting the new thingy and we do go ahead and look at our youth uh, players and uh, I do decide to sign up one song called Harvey and I'm going with a 4-4-2 as you can see there Linnell John Lewis Omar Bogle in the Portsmouth game who I've actually got their real life stadium on this which I would love for them to get all uh, English teams' stadiums in the nearby future. I know it's a lot to do, but I feel like career mode does get like left and not treated as much as like ultimate team or summit. So I would love it if they could help, uh, if they could just improve it more, making the realism a lot more. And we do go down one nil very early. Davis tries to kick it, even though he should be heading it. Um, but yeah, I hope they do get more stuff like lower league, uh, like uh, sponsoring and all that kind of stuff. It just it would be great to see as a uh, town are back on the game. And as we go through here, Linnell John Lewis bursts through and gets the goal, as you can see, to make it 1-1, 19 minutes in. So we didn't wait too long to to get the goal and we did, uh, did get it pretty early. Linnell John Lewis just a bullying past players and then slots it in uh, across the keeper to make it 1-1 and uh, hopefully we can get up with the win here and then some kind of odd play like none of these passes should really be connecting. That shot uh, is spilled and Caden Jackson, the substitute I put on for half time, get us it gets us the goal as you can see here like I would have thought the keeper would have saved that or kept hold of it but no we do get the goal maybe a bit of luck Caden Jackson's first league goal as well and then a piss poor throw in for the keeper here and then Caden Jackson's through again to make it 3-1 uh, and like I just put him on at half time as well and it's 56 minutes so he's been a, a quality sub for Lanel John Lewis because I felt other than that goal, they didn't do much. So, uh, yeah, I did swap him out at half time, and he's already paying me back, Caden Jackson. Um, oh, that was Brandon Comley, actually, not Caden Jackson. My bad. Uh, and then some nice little play, just wriggling to try and get the shot off, and we do get fouled for a penalty. Um, as you can see here, Dominic Vose just going across. Knocks the ball just enough for the defender not to get a prod on it. And we do go down. I do have a bit of trouble finding who I want to take the penalty. I went to go to Bogle. Then I picked our Joe. Then I go to Bogle again. I picked Comley. I did the exact same thing. Uh, and then we do finally get to Omar Bogle. Because I want him to be top goal scorer if we can. And he does convert to 4-1. Um... And yeah, I have also changed my game speed down to normal because I felt like fast was just going too quick. Like, you just got pressed instantly by the other team. And I do like to have time to build up, but it does end 4-1. An absolutely fantastic result there for us uh, against Port Portsmouth. As you can see, the stats, we had seven shots to their five. So I felt like it was deserved, really. And yeah, so we're getting on into the next game soon. Let me know if you like it like this. If you want me to get through to the transfer window. Because I know most of you probably uh, find that like the best part. Because I know I do. Transfer windows are always, always the best. 
uh, in career modes. So we're getting on to the next game. I kind of go with the same team. I put Caden Jackson in because he did very well for me. Um, I put both strikers' instructions on to get him behind. Um, and yeah, I mean, I keep the exact same team, except Caden Jackson going in for Linnell John Lewis. And Linnell John Lewis has kind of been a disappointment for me. I can't really run, run Bogle and Linnell John Lewis. I think they're too similar on this game. So I, I, like, I like Bogle and I like to have a pacey striker that can get him behind. Um, even though I feel like Bogle can get him behind... But I just don't think they both work together. So, well, from what I've um, played with them anyway, just haven't really been working uh, as far. I mean, we can get maybe the one goal, but we need to get multiple to get wins out here. We get a little bit of luck here. Again, Caden Jackson passes it to Dominic Vos, and we do slide under the keeper 15 minutes in, uh, getting off to an early lead here. I mean... Vose is probably one of the outstanding ones of the season. Even though he don't feel like it, like sometimes I'm playing with him and he just doesn't really do much. But he just seems to pop up, get these goals. We do get very lucky, really. Um, but he does finish it on the stretch. But, yeah, fantastic goal by him there. And then here we go. Just piss poor defending, really. I pass it. I went to go pass it to the left back. Um, he just stabs it way too short, just absolutely misses it, really. Um, and then they do get through and put the goal in to put me back to 1-1. One, one. And that happens to me a lot of the time. It just, like, all my work just goes out the window to a silly mistake. And FIFA actually has been frustrating me quite a bit recently, but I'm I'm trying to get over it. I'm trying to keep playing and get better. Lovely passing movement. By our team there to slot it home to make it 2-1. We do get the lead back 36 minutes in. As you can see we're just passing it down the line to where players weren't. And uh, was that Caden Jackson with another goal? Um, yeah it was. So yeah he's been on fire for me recently. Uh, these few couple of games as you can see there. We do get out with the 2-1 win. Which is very very nice. Actually, I can't remember if that was 3-1 or 2-1, but whatever. Um, doing the Bogle training, he's kind of slowed down because I think he's kind of hit his potential, really, or he's close to it. So I'm not sure how much I could get out of him after I max his potential, which is 66 on this. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to get out of him. Hopefully, I can get a bit more. I can try and squeeze, like... I mean, if I could get him to a 70, that would be amazing. I might try, I might buy them training things out of the catalogue if you want to see me upgrade Bogle. I won't do it, I don't know, I might I might wait until we get promoted. But early off here, 28 minutes in, 1-0 goes to us from a cross from, I'm not sure who that was. Shea Joe onto the head of Sean Pearson. Putting it in, just rising up and gets us the 1-0 lead early off. And I was just, like this session, it was just going very well for me. Uh, we put it back in there from a poor cross that gets blocked. But Omar Bogle is there to just absolutely um, produce a worldy. Just cuts back in with his left weaker foot. He does have five star skills on this, which is very good. Um, as you can see, Caden Jackson getting the assist. And he was absolutely sublime for me this episode. For a 53 rated, um, I mean, he's done very well here. 2 0 lead, again, I mean, a 2 0 win against Colchester. So let me know if you want to see me rip through these games or whatnot. Uh, do the training to Bogle, as you can see. Uh, it goes to right near 65, but I think when I advance, he actually goes to 65, as you can see there. He does. Um, and also we've still got the scouting thing going and I do actually sign one player that the scout has brought back to me which one is it? Toby Murphy yeah I do sign him up to the academy just leaving him in there and then we're not actually on track for the financial thing which is could be a problem I'm not sure how much I will get penalised for that if I don't reach it but yeah hopefully we can uh, 
help with that in the next episode. I need to sell players as well and hopefully progress in the FA Cup that we have got next against. Uh, uh, I'm not sure really, but we're sitting top of the league. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this episode. I mean, I'm going to try and get more out as soon as possible. It's just my sleep patterns are messed up at the moment. So, uh, if you could leave a like, that would be much appreciated. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye bye. I'm a motherfucking star boy. Every day a nigga try to test.